Disney announcing some massive upgrades coming to its theme parks in Florida and around the world, just as the company reports a drop in ticket sales. Disney is set to update attractions and experiences at its properties. The company revealed its plans for Indiana Jones, Monsters, Inc., and Spider-Man rides, plus a new Avatar-inspired ride at Disneyland in California. With this expansion, the company says it's anticipating lower attendance at its theme parks due to recent economic uncertainty and demand moderation. Joining us live now is Dennis Neal, a business journalist, former managing editor of Forbes magazine and host of What's Bugging Me podcast. Dennis, you and I just had this conversation on Saturday talking about different things changing as people fight for that dollar. Explain to us why Disney is investing so much money in rebuilding these new attractions and right. uh, building out their theme parks when we know that people are pinched financially. It's great to see you, Nick. It's a big bet on the future. And let's remember something. This is a time when the world is addicted to screens, to stuff that's happening on a screen. Disney's a big screen company, right? They've lost, I think, $11 billion in streaming, trying to get stuff to your phone and, and to your laptop. But now they're spending a massive sum on experience, on on real atoms and molecules, on going to a park. Look at Facebook, Nick. Spent $50 billion in losses in the last four years trying to make the metaverse where we're going to put on goggles and we'll be someplace else. Disney is betting on real experience, real goosebumps from being there. Now, usually it spends about $5 billion a year for the entire company on its plant and equipment, et cetera. And now it's gonna spend $6 billion a year over 10 years just on theme parks alone. It's gone almost double the number of cruise ships it has from five up to nine. It's gonna do this new villain's land at Disney World, although Disney really is not much of a villain company. It's gonna uh, double the size of the Avengers Park in California. It's gonna uh, have a new alliance with Epic Games Video Games to do some video games parks. And the other thing you know from this, Nick, is you see that the movies, projects, and franchises that they have done, you see the future plans, right? Because they're obviously going to have another Cars movie because they're doing a new Cars thing. They're going to do some and Indiana Toy Story. Jones stuff. They've got, you know, and, and the other thing is that this company is awfully good and efficient when it gets focused. Now, for four years, it lost its way. It went woke. Disney stock is down, let's see, I think it's down 30% in four months um, at a time when the overall market is up. And now this company is finally getting back to basics, focusing on what it does best, which is giving people good experiences. And Dennis, I've got less than 30 seconds here, but I was having this conversation with my producer. He says, Nick, they're spending this money. That means they see something ahead. They wouldn't be spending the money. I'm not so sure. I think they're taking a gamble. What do you say, Dennis? I think they are investing in their business and doing what they know best. Disney is the one entertainment company. I own this a little bit of stock in my retirement fund. It's the one entertainment company where synergy truly works. You know, the park promotes the movies. The movies and TV shows end up then promoting the park. It all works together. No other entertainment company has made that work this way and lets all of its different businesses work together so well. Right now, the stock's below 90 bucks a share, and uh, Wall Street doesn't like it. But the company hurt itself because of this media uh, stuff and the woke stuff, and now it's getting back to business, baby. Dennis Neal, thank you so much, and I'm waiting for Toy Story 5. Dennis, we'll talk to you soon. There you go. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.